Greetings viewers, we have a really, really beautiful pen here. This is the Fuliwen Model 017, and it's a really, really interesting pen, really uh, pretty materials, um, so let's just get right into it. It's um, size-wise, um, very, very typical pen. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, so you see it's right in line, quite literally, with these guys. Um, a little girthier at times. Um, has a decent amount of weight to it, 32 grams. That includes this um, roll stop, which uh, looks like a snake, which is removable. Um, this pen comes in, um, at, the, at the moment, three different colors. It comes, uh, this particular one is called the Starry Night. And it is just some really, really beautiful uh, material and um, colors, etc. cetera. Um, very much uh, color scheme and pattern wise meant to evoke um, this painting, which is by Vincent Van Gogh. I'm gonna use the American pronunciation of Van Gogh. Um, for those of you in Europe that know how to speak Dutch properly, I believe you guys say Van Gogh, but um, that just doesn't come easy for me. But anyway, by Vincent Van Gogh called The Starry Night. So that um, very much the color scheme, pattern, etc., cetera, is, um, is evocative of this painting. It does come in a couple of other colors. You can also get this uh, snake bit in both a gold color and a silver color uh, here. We'll get into the snake in a minute. There are pros and cons of, of this. Um, it is, um, has got some, like I said, decent amount of weight to it, 32 gram pen. It is a, um, it is a twist to uncap, it takes two and three quarter turns to remove the um, the cap personally I think it's okay unposted I do particularly like to post my pens and it works fine posted as well even with this um, metallic piece here it does not present back weighting as far as I'm concerned um, again beautiful section same material to match the rest of the pen which is really nice nice size section with flare on the end these threads are really you don't feel at all there is a little bit of a step up here but not to the point where it become annoying when i hold it i got my thumb rested right on this step up and it doesn't really bother me really hardly at all um, the nib is a uh, silver steel colored nib it's got some scroll work it's got the fully one logo it says fully one and then an m for medium and it has a ordinary looking um, plastic uh, feed it is a cartridge converter uh, pen. Um, unfortunately, I, this would make a nice eyedropper pen, but unfortunately this collar, which um, holds the um, converter in place, is, is, as you can see, is metallic. So no eyedroppering here. A little bit of a shame. I think this would have made a nice eyedropper uh, pen. Um, th the thing that this pen has going for it is the material. The material is just beautiful. Really, really quite, quite stunning actually, in fact. Um, uh, really, really nice. The, um, the um, snake uh, roll stop is both optional and removable. Um, if you don't like it, it comes right off problem is even if you do like it it comes right off basically this thing just doesn't stay on very well now this is a very soft metal you can bend it etc i have done that it just doesn't stay on that's just i mean it really comes off way way too easily frankly if you really really like this snake and you really are sort of know you're going to want to keep it on the pen and not remove it i would actually recommend epoxying it carefully to the cap because this just it's very very impractical with this thing popping off all the time if you were to do that epoxying it i'm betting you could probably use the tail as a clip but that wouldn't work if you don't uh, fat, uh, uh, glue it on because it's just gonna it's just gonna come right off it's not gonna be reliable to use as a clip so um personally i can't get really get this thing to stay on well at all um which is a bit of a shame because i really really like it i may um, if I decide I really want to keep the snake on it, and I do like the way it looks, um, I may actually uh, take that route of epoxying it on. Um, but we'll see. I haven't obviously have not done that. Uh, obviously have not done that yet. But um, like I said, really, really, really pretty uh, pen. Um, just a gorgeous material, gorgeous finish, fantastic colors. Um, just. 
just a really really pretty pen um, they did, really did a nice really nice job on this like I said I think the big shortcoming is this roll stop just does not want to stay on so um, your mileage may vary maybe um, you know uh, if you get one of these maybe you'll have better luck with it than I did but I just this thing just keeps popping off on me all the time that notwithstanding really really an attractive attractive pen um, and I like it uh, quite a bit but 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 as a wise philosopher once said pens were meant to write we're going to see how this pen writes right now okay folks what we're writing with here is a fully one model 017 and this has a medium steel nib And this really writes very well. So this is a smooth writer, a decently wet writer, um, not a gusher, but you know, pleasantly, pleasantly wet uh, writing pen, and overall a very, very smooth and nice writing experience, which uh, I uh, I like quite a bit and. Uh, it writes just as well as it looks. Let's just say that. Um, the other thing I like is that this medium nib is really a medium. I mean, this is this is this is a pretty good medium uh, 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 nib, uh, especially for uh, you know an Asian nib. They tend to run um, a little on the narrower side, so I'm actually pleased with um, with the. Uh, the width of this nib and again we got some good flow pretty reliable rider as well um and um just uh, just a pleasant overall experience like i said the only real negative i have on this is the fact that the roll stop doesn't stay on but like i said i think that can be remediated quite easily but of course you're then you're committing to the fact that it's not coming off so um, uh, be you know, be careful if you do that. But I may, you may see me back in a subsequent video in six months or so, showing you guys how I epoxy this on. I'm, I'm, just, I'm thinking about it. So um, let's see how uh, how that uh, how that goes. But that notwithstanding, really, really nice, smooth writing pen, and I really like it. I really like it quite, quite a bit, and. Um, I think you will too. These, I think, are a little tough to get now. I know they put a bunch on the market. They were on eBay, they were on Etsy, etc. Um, and now they're not quite as pervasive on those websites right at this uh, moment that I'm recording this as they were when I got this a little while ago. But I'm sure you'll be able to find one if you really, really like it. Um, I guess that's about all we want to say about this uh, this particular pen. Let's talk about this ink for a few minutes now, shall we? Okay, folks, this ink is Robert Oster. And it's simply called Tranquility. Um, so I really, really like this color. So this is an aqua turquoise uh, bluish color that has a pretty decent amount of shading and uh, color variation. Um, it uh, just is a really, really, really pretty color. I might go out on a limb and say this, but I think when it comes to sort of lightish shades of blue, and I know I'm being really specific here, I think Robert Oster might do as good a job as any other ink company does with sort of slightly lighter shades of blue. I'm thinking of uh, things like soda pop blue that they do um, as well, um, uh, etc. So they really do a pretty good job with sort of these, I guess off blues maybe we'll call them, but um, uh, they just, uh, this is just a really, really attractive uh, uh, color behaves well and like I said you get this fairly good uh, variation in uh, shading here. That is on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a very quick look at how it looks on Tomoe River paper. Okay here we go so like we said before this ink is Robert Oster. Tranquility. And 
this is on uh, Tomorrow River paper. And um, again, really, really nice. Uh, just a pretty, pretty color. You do get some nice uh, shading and variation where it gets, goes from, from very, very dark to, to quite light in spots, particularly on like a medium nib or even a broader nib or a stub. Um, it would, uh, you'd get obviously the variation effect kicks in, uh, kicks in even, even more. So again, a very, very pretty ink from Robert Oster. This, again, this Tranquility ink comes in these 50 milliliter plastic bottles like all the Robert Oster inks do. So Robert Oster Tranquility, very, very nice, nice ink. So I think that just might about do it for this particular episode. So as always, I thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are not a subscriber, please become one. Keep those thumbs up coming. Please leave a comment or two. I love to hear from you. And as always, until we see each other again next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.